version 13a the operation asterisk is defined on the set of read numbers by s asterisk y equal to s plus y over 2 where s and y are members of the set of read numbers remember figure 1 evaluate 3 asterisk 2 over 5 remember figure 2 if 8 asterisk y is equal to 8 whole number 1 over 4 find the value of y solution this is the operation so with this 3 simply represent s and 2 over 5 represent y and you replace them in the operation if you simplify the numerator you have 17 over 5 divided by 2 you can write 2 over 1 so that in fraction division division sign always changes to multiplication and you have 17 over 5 times 1 over 2 if you invert that fraction and that is 17 over 10 remember figure 2 you should find y in this expression. What it means that if you replace s with a, y remains the same over 2. You equate it to, four whole, to 8 whole numbers, 1 over 4, that simplifies to 33 over 4 in this form. To clear fractions, simply cross multiply and you have this result. If you open the brackets, you have 32 plus 4y equal to 66. Collect like terms, you have 4y equal to 66 minus 32, and that is 34. To get y, divide both sides by 4, so y is equal to 34 over 4, which reduced to 17 over 2. And to miss fraction, you have eight whole number one over two. Question thirteen A, thirteen B, thirteen B. In triangle ABC, AB is equal to minus four six. That is a column vector. AC is equal to three minus eight another column vector if p is the midpoint of vector a b express cp that is vector cp as a column vector so you have triangle a b c the midpoint of a b is p you must know the you know vector they have magnitude and direction vector quantity so a b this is is the direction direction then a c this is the direction and p c this is the direction now you are asked to express c p vector c p as a column vector but by this direction we can only get vector p c and want to get vector p c so maybe we can get vector C P. Once we get P C, we can get C P. All right. So we have the the midpoint, and for us to get vector P C, we we'll look at this from here to this place and to this place. So for us to get P C first, it means we must get A P already A C is this column vector so let's get ap ap is half of ab in this form so you multiply vector ab by half you have this column vector 1 over 2 times minus 4 you have minus 2 1 over 2 times 6 you have 3 midpoint the midpoint is ap plus 
E C that is vector A P plus vector P C and that is equal to vector A C. So for how to get P C first, you have to make vector P C the subject. When you do that, you have this expression. So this is vector A C minus vector A P. You subtract, you have three minus minus two is five and minus eight minus three is minus eleven if you so you you have to interchange the position of vector p c to c p as you are doing that you always multiply that the vector you are switching by minus one so vector c p is obtained by multiplying vector pc by minus one if you do that you have the column vector minus five and eleven paper two part two has come to an end but before you go there is every need for you to be saved and to be saved you just need to give your life to the lord jesus christ and confess him as your lord and personal savior every day of your life if you are saved already congratulations live righteously and be prepared because on the last day some will be taken and some will be left take good care of yourself stay out of trouble study your books do the needful at all times flee every appearance of evil don't defraud others to make money. Use your hands and your brain to work genuinely and legally, and the Lord will bless you. Goodbye and stay tuned.